Verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Love is to care for the other person more than you care for yourself. And so Jesus is saying, if you really care for me more than you care for yourself, you will follow my commandments. Our love of God leads us to give heed, to listen to, to give obedience to his commands above our own way that we would want life to go. I've heard people say, well, that this is some kind of manipulation. Well, you know, if you really loved me, you'd do what I want. I've heard people describe it as an abusive relationship, you know, kind of a, looky here, you better do what I'm telling you or else sort of if you really love me, you'd just be obedient, you know, like, almost like an abusive husband kind of situation. I'm like, are you even paying attention to what is going on here? That is not it at all. What is being described here are results. It's a cause and effect. If you love me, the effect of the love is going to be that you will follow the commandments. That is a natural outworking of the love that you have that you're going to say, Lord, I want your glory. I want your way. I want your purpose. And here is little old me, flawed, broken, with misunderstanding of everything. You know what? You're God. I'm just going to listen to you. All comes out of our love. We love Jesus. We sincerely see his goodness and his grace. And as a result, we keep his commandments. And because of our love for Christ in that relationship, it says that he will send us the Holy Spirit. You have to remember there's a flow to the thinking of a verse, of a passage. You always have to be very careful not to pull just one little phrase out and try to figure out what it's meaning outside of what is going on. There's a flow of thought that is going on here. <clears throat> he says, you will do greater works. Why will we do greater works? Because Christ will do whatever we ask in his name. Why is he going to do whatever we ask in his name? Because if we love him, we are following his commands. We're in his will and purpose. And if our wills and purposes are aligned with his, it's because he sent us a helper. And so you see there's this whole flow of thought, flow of events that are going on. And if you just pluck one of them out of that flow, it doesn't make sense. 